I'd film a little weekend reading vlog for you guys. Today is currently Friday, March 22nd, and it is almost 11 a.m. And I thought I would go over the reading plans and kind of like the plans for today and this weekend. These are the three books that I'm currently reading or in the midst of. First one is Mad Honey. I've been reading this slowly throughout the month of March, and that's because this is my pleasure book. This is the book I pick up when I don't really want to read the other books I have to read for like videos that I'm doing on them. I am 353 pages into this. I think I have less than a hundred pages left in this book. So I would love to finish this today or sometime this weekend. Next is A Tempest of Tea. This is my personal book club pick for the month of March. If you don't know, I run a really low key book club. The link is always in the description down below. If you want to join, it's completely free. I am halfway through this book. I just got to part two. So I am like this far into it. I can't really say my thoughts or my feelings because my book club gets an exclusive vlog. So if you want to know any of my thoughts and feelings, you're gonna have to join to get that reading vlog. But I would love to finish this this weekend so I can move on with it. If that gives you any indication on what I'm feeling like when it comes to this book. And if I finish those books, I'm going to read my book that I've been anticipating reading for this entire month and I've been wanting to read it. I've saved it for last. Swift and Saddled by Layla Sage. I read Done and Dusted a year ago. Absolutely loved it. Okay, I'm not a romance reader and that book, there was something in the book that I loved. So I would love to start this this weekend. As far as plans for today, I have some filming I need to do. I'm going to be filming my first ever TBR jar picks my monthly reads. I've never done it before. Last night, I did some prompts. I will eventually do more, but I feel like this is enough because I'm only going to pick five of them. So there's that. So we have to film that. I've got a couple TikToks I need to film. I have no editing to do because I've already edited. Oh, I do have to watch a movie tonight. I'm watching The Hobbit tonight because my books to screen video for the month of March was The Hobbit and I have to watch the movie tonight in order for that video to go out on Sunday. That video is already out by the time this video has been brought to you guys. So make sure to go check it out. And I think that's it. I think those are all my plans for tonight. I'm gonna go film and then when I pick up a book, whichever one I'm gonna pick up next, I will explain what it's about. Let's go film our TBR jar. Hi guys, it's a little bit later. Filming has been done. I'll show you my April TBR in a little bit, but groceries just arrived. So I thought we could put the groceries away together. Have a nice little, I don't know, cleaning moment because I need to clean the house. I'll show you guys what I got for groceries, but first let's unpack them all. actually running out to go get lunch because I'm hungry and I blanked when ordering groceries and I got nothing for lunch. So this is what we're wearing to the grocery store. Very simple, very comfy. Let's go get sushi. I did not expect there to be that many people there at 1 p.m. on a Friday. What do people do for work? What do you guys do? But I have a Kroger haul. So I got cat treats and I got the new Orange Kiss Alani New, which let's do a taste test. I've heard this tastes like an orange creamsicle. No, you know what this tastes like? The orange soda you used to get at McDonald's, high C. I got two things of sushi, but I forgot chopsticks. So I got a Philly roll and a half Buckeye roll, which is imitation crab, cream cheese, avocado, cornflakes, spicy sushi sauce. So let me show you the setup we got here. This is the Philly roll. I love a Philly roll. So much. This is the book I roll. This is what we're working with. I'm gonna pick a book to read. I'm thinking Mad Honey, and then I'm gonna watch some YouTube. So let's do all this. Guys, this is criminal, I know. I just got to the point in the book where the verdict is about to be revealed and I thought I would record my action because this whole entire book has been leading up to this moment. 
So I'm like nervous for these characters. They're fictional characters, but I'm so nervous for them because I feel like I've been following their life for so long that I'm like, it's all about to be over. Like, I kind of want to cry. I have now finished Mad Honey. And let me tell you what Mad Honey is about because I don't think I've said it before. So in this book, you're following this woman named Olivia who has left an abusive relationship and she has taken her son asher and moved to a farm and she raises bees and provides local honey to the people and restaurants and stuff like that asher gets into some trouble because he is the person found holding his girlfriend's dead body and so he gets convicted for the murder and they have to go through trial so you're following that you're getting povs from olivia the mom and lily who is the girlfriend olivia you're getting like present day but you're also getting like flashbacks to like when she was in her abusive relationship so you can kind of get an idea of like why she is feeling a certain way about towards things and like who she is as a person and the stuff she's went through lily you're obviously getting like before the murder happened and i I did really like this book a lot. It looks like a very long book because it's super floppy. It's just, I think it's like 432 pages. So it's not awfully long, but it's a lot longer for like a thriller. But I don't know if I'd actually consider this a thriller. I think I'd consider this like contemporary with a murder mystery in it. Like it's not really like a thriller thriller. I definitely would look up trigger warnings please 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 look up trigger warnings for this book because there's a lot that can be triggering in this book and there's some really harsh topics that are talked about in this book i did really like it a lot i think people should read this book i don't know why it hasn't been talked about a lot because it's really but I'm gonna give it a five star. I actually really, really love this book a lot. So now I have to figure out my next book. It is now three o'clock. I have to make banana bread. So I need to do that. I also need to update my books to screen vlog. I'm still chugging along on my Alani new. I crushed my sushi. It was so good. I'm going to be thinking about that sushi for a while. Like that half the buckeye roll was so good. It was not spicy at all. It was fantastic. Also Wyatt is right here. It's raining outside, which I did not know it was supposed to rain. I have to do some laundry. I said I was going to do some cleaning, but I think I'm just going to wake up early tomorrow morning and clean before my parents come over. I just can't be bothered tonight, okay? But I think I'm going to pick up Swift and Saddled as my next read to kind of take a break from A Tempest of Tea because I'm not really like wanting to read this. Okay, I'm going to go because I've been talking for seven minutes and I will see you guys in a little bit. So I have now changed into a t-shirt because I've been baking banana bread and doing dishes and I've put the hair up. The makeup's gonna come off very soon. Please ignore that bag of trash back there. I ran out of trash bags and they're coming tomorrow, but I'm going to make my own chicken cutlets. I've never made chicken cutlets in my life. This is a premium recipe for me. This is something that I'm very scared to make because it deals with frying on the stove and I'm just that scares shit out of me also i'm listening to folklore because i think folklore is my favorite t swift album and it's because i can relate to it so much like some of my top tier t swift songs are on this album so i think i'm just a folklore girl guys this is the ultimate girl dinner i did my own chicken cutlet caesar salad fries and a diet coat stunning hello 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 dinner was fantastic so i still have some diet coke left over guys romanticize your life and put your drink in a wine glass i think i'm gonna read a little bit because it is 6 40 in the evening and i want to watch the hobbit at eight so i think i might read for like an hour and see how far i can get into swift and saddled i probably won't talk to you guys until tomorrow so enjoy the b-roll and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow Saturday and I have some book mail 
to show you and a reading update. So let's do the book mail. I got sent three books and I just didn't show you the other because I got these sent yesterday. I forgot to show you and this one just came this morning. So the two books I got yesterday are by the same author, Helena Fox. And this is How It Feels to Float. And then this is The Quiet and the Loud. I don't think these are connected, but this is her debut novel. So I'm not really sure what any of these are about, but thank you so much, Penguin Random House, for sending me these. And this is Every Time You Hear That Song by Jenna Boris. And it says, they never say meet your idols, but nothing about digging up their deepest secrets. So it looks like you're following two different POVs. You're following present day and then a POV from 1963 about Deckley Castle who is a country music legend and she dies and this time capsule gets digged up but it's empty. The reporter goes on an adventure to find the real time capsule. It's a coming of age story. Yeah there's that. So we shall see how this gets along. But I last night before I watched The Hobbit sat down and read a little bit of Swift and Saddled. You guys, I, her books read so fast. I sat down and read 50 pages in like a blink of an eye and I really, really like this book. So in this book, you're following Ada who is a interior designer and she gets employed by Weston to go and make over a ranch that he wants to become like um like kind of like a staycation ranch type deal, like a motel type, a bed and breakfast kind of, I don't know how to explain it. So she arrives and she stops at a bar along the way and she ends up uh, making out with this really hot cowboy and then the next day she shows up at her job and she shows up at her job and the really hot cowboy ends up being Weston, her boss. So there's where I'm at with that. I'm really liking it so far. If you don't know, this is a companion novel to Done and Dusted. Done and Dusted is Lila Sage's first ever novel. I really, really love uh, Done and Dusted. So I have yet to see these characters in this book. They have been mentioned, but I haven't seen them yet. So I would definitely say read Done and Dusted before going into Swift and Saddled, but there's that. Oh, I wanted to show you my crew neck because I got this and I haven't had a chance to show you guys. So. On it, it says, I wear my heart on my sleeve. I don't know if y'all can see that. There you go. And then on the sleeve, guys, I cried when I opened this. It is the outline of Ollie, who was my dog. It's the outline of his head. And it says his name on it. Can you guys see that? Yeah. I cried when I opened it. If you don't know, I had a dog named Ollie. He was a golden retriever. He was my sole dog and he sadly passed away about a year ago now. And it's been really difficult to deal with that because he was literally there for like 13 years of my life. And now that he's gone, it was really a hard adjustment to adjust without having him in my life. So yeah, today's plan is my parents are coming over. I don't know how long they'll be here. I still need to finish up the Hobbit video I'm doing. So I didn't know that the Hobbit was split into three different movies. Like the book was split into three different movies. So now I have to watch all three movies. I watched the first one last night, started the second one, fell asleep. So I still have like a big chunk of the second one to watch and then the third one. So I don't know. This weekend vlog is not going how I wanted it to go because I didn't anticipate me having to watch three almost three hour long movies. I thought I'd watch one and then spend the rest of the week in like reading and like getting a bunch of reading done. So I'm sorry, but yeah, that's it. I don't know how much I'll update you guys when my parents are here. Probably not a lot because you know, that's my time I like to be with my parents without a camera. So anyways, I'm gonna go and I will talk to you guys later. Good morning guys, happy Sunday. I have been sat here since 8 a.m. getting my books to screen reading vlog up. So please go give it a watch. I crammed in all three of the Hobbit movies into 24 hours and I read The Hobbit and go watch it. I put a lot of time and effort into that vlog. It's currently uploading now. It should be uploaded in probably like within the next like hour or two, but it's already up for you guys. I am actually gonna go walk on the treadmill for probably like an hour or so. I just, I want to get my body moving and I don't know, I'm gonna maybe catch up on YouTube while I'm doing that because I love doing that when I'm walking on the treadmill. It's nice. So I'm gonna go do that and then we're gonna have lunch and get some reading done. So that's all we're doing today. Very chill Sunday at home because I don't go anywhere on Sundays. I never do. Okay, let's go walk. Hello guys, please ignore this really dark lighting. 
but I'm gonna switch up the reading for this vlog. So I just got off the treadmill, by the way, which is why I look the way I do. So I have been reading Swift and Saddled by Lila Sage, but I realize I'm gonna have to film a reading vlog this coming week and that book is going to be involved in it. And then I won't have time to finish up my monthly book club reading vlog. So I need to finish this today. I think I have like maybe a hundred and something pages left. So the goal is to finish this today. I am so sorry. You're not gonna get my thoughts in this vlog on this book, but this is more of like a spend a cozy weekend with me vlog. So I'm gonna read a little bit and then have some lunch cause I'm not quite hungry yet. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Hello, it's now three o'clock. It just turned three. I finished A Tempest of Tea. I'm so glad to be done with this. Have not read any more of this. I was reading this yesterday. I read a chapter and then my parents came. So I haven't read any more of this. I probably will later tonight though. But I realized I said I would show you guys my April TBR and I haven't done that yet. This was the first time I did a TBR jar picks my April reads. And I'm not entirely happy about this TBR. I'm gonna be blatantly honest honest like this is a tbr i wouldn't have picked for myself but the whole point of a tbr jar is so that i reach for some of these books that i would normally not pick so i you know can either decide oh yeah i love these books want to keep them on the shelf or unhaul them i didn't really like them you know so so i don't remember all my prompts so if you want to watch that go watch it it's already up i will link it in the bio i'd really love it if you've watched it and supported it so there's two books not here which i remember one of the prompt was an ebook and for that i chose heart supper volume five because that's an easy ebook for me to read and i can also read that in one sitting like in an hour no problem but because of that i drew an extra prompt because I usually read about five books a month and with a graphic novel like I said I could read it in an hour so I just decided to pull six books and another prompt I forget what it was but I picked a daughter of mine by Megan Miranda which is my book club pick for the month of April so that is not featured here but the rest of them are here so first up we have made of stars this is a ya sci-fi i know this is like bonnie and clyde s nervous about this one because i don't really read sci-fi books but we shall see the next one is the poison season i believe this is ya as well and this one i remember the card that i got with this book it said fantasy dark cottage core vibes something magic enemies to lovers stuff like that and so um, i'm very excited to see how this one goes the cover's gorgeous and then we have poor things this is going to be april's pick for books to screen really excited about this one have no idea what this is about other than it's like a frankenstein s kind of story and then uh we have a romance a guide to just being friends i think this one was because i drew a prompt that says have a pink cover these are my books for april that's it for that i don't know what i'm gonna do for the rest of the day like i said it's three o'clock on a sunday and this is usually where my anxiety starts to kick off because i'm not really a fan of sunday afternoons you wanted to say hello say hello i'm gonna go i don't know do something probably not probably watch some youtube just chill out try to get this anxiety like mm. I've decided to put the Airs Tour movie on, even though I've already seen it like so many times, and get some cleaning done. Like I just have dishes to pick up and then I have to clean my fish's tank, which is not that big of a deal. I just changed 20% of the water, but any excuse to have this on, I don't care. And it's motivation.
if this is weird or not, but one of my favorite times to read is when I have dinner cooking. It's kind of like a therapeutic moment for me. Like dinner's on the stove. I'm going to read. I don't know. I just really like it. Currently, Swift and Saddled, I'm on page 60. So I'm going to read a little bit of that while dinner is cooking. I am kind of making up a recipe. So I have those chicken cutlets I made on Friday and I'm going to chop them up. Put them in my spaghetti with that zucchini that I'm pan frying. It's gonna be good. So let's read. Hopefully, maybe I can read like, I don't know, 30 pages by the time dinner's done. So let's get to reading. Hello, ignore the blanket. This is future Kaylin coming to end the vlog because I realized I forgot to while editing. So I hope you guys enjoyed spending this cozy weekend at home with me. If you did, make sure you guys are subscribing because I would love to have you here. And make sure to be kind to yourself and to others around you. And I will see you guys next Sunday. Love ya!